welcome back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So if you read the title, then you already know this is a Solange Knowles Met Gala inspired makeup tutorial. The Met Gala took place last night and there were a lot of cute makeup looks like Kim K's look was really cute. But when I saw Solange's look, I was like, ooh. Yes, I'm digging that. I'm digging that smoky eye. Something about it was very simplistic, but it was like edgy at the same time. And I was like, okay, what better thing to do than to recreate Solange's makeup look? I feel like Solange does very simplistic, very simple, natural makeup. Um, a lot of times I get asked to do her looks, but I feel like she really doesn't wear much makeup. And when she does wear makeup, it's very like the face is natural, but then she does a hint of edge to it, like on her eye. She'll do like some type of edgy eyeliner, just something very simple, but just artsy at the same time. So anyways, I'm rambling. I thought this look was really cute, so I decided to film it for you guys. I took a poll on Instagram and 90% of you guys said you wanted this look, so huh, I'm delivering. If you want to see how I recreated and slayed the Solange Knowles Make Ella 2018 look, then let's dive into the video. I'm gonna start off with my eyes since this is a smoky eye look. I don't wanna have any fallout on like my face when I do my foundation. So we're gonna start with the eyes. Now Solange's look, she had a smoky eye, but it looked like in the crease it was a little warm. So maybe like a soft orange. I'm gonna go into my Morphe 3502 palette because this one is a super warm palette. As you can see, there's some like smoky colors and darker like browns and blacks at the bottom. So I'm gonna go into this terracotta shade just in my crease. Okay, so this is a gorgeous transition color. So in her crease, it looks like she has some shimmer or some glitter action going on. But I think I'm gonna go into this shade by ColourPop. This is Disco Ball. And I'm just going to take this brush and apply this to my crease. Hopefully this does not look bad. I'm really trying to get that shimmer that she had. It wasn't just matte or flat. This color is so pretty. I would wear this on its own. Okay, so I think that's close enough. Next, I'm going to apply the dark black shadow. This gets a little bit scary and tricky because I'm not the best at obviously makeup or a smoky eye. I don't have a black base, but I do have this jumbo black um, pencil by Sephora. So I'm literally just going to apply this to my lid and use this as my base. Yeah, her entire lid is covered in a black shadow. So if you don't have a black base, just get a creamy jumbo black pencil. Then I'm just going to try to blend this out just so we don't have any harsh lines. Next, I'm going to go back into that Morphe palette and I'm going to take this shade right here. I'm going to apply that to my lids. Okay, I'm always really afraid of black shadow because they're just so messy. But I'm going to tap that in there and just pat this on my eyelid. Ooh, that's a really pretty black though. I will show you that. I'm gonna go back into that terracotta shade and just blend this out. Just blend it so we don't have any harsh lines. I'm gonna go back into the Disco Ball color by ColourPop and just add a little bit more of that shimmer. I feel like it, my eye needs a little bit more of that. Okay guys, I think it is coming along. I know I look crazy now. I look don't judge. Looking at her liner, it doesn't look like she has a dark liner on her waterline. So I'm just gonna go in with this. It kind of, her eyes kind of look very open. So I think I'm gonna go in, should I go in with gold? Let me see, let me see how this looks first. Using this, cause she doesn't have black eyeliner in her waterline. Her eyeliner looks very, her eyes look very open and awake. And I don't know if she used gold. I mean, I do have a nude, but mm, this is an inspiration. It's not like the exact look. I'm gonna kind of smoke out my lash line. I'm gonna go back into that 3502 palette by Morphe. And I think I'm going to do, let's try that terracotta and see what that does. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with a dark brown to smoke out my 
bottom lash line, I think I'm going to take maybe this color right here to just smoke that out. Solange's brows are very groomed and full. You know, total opposite of what I have going on right now. We're gonna have to finesse this. So I'm gonna comb my hairs up. I'm gonna take this pencil by ColourPop, trace or outline my brow. So now I'm just drawing hair like strokes. I know it looks crazy right now, but we're gonna clean it up. So let's move on to complexion. I've already applied my primer. Now I'm going to apply my foundation. I have two foundations that I'm going to be mixing together. This one is Lancome's Tante Doe in the shade 465 Sway. And this one is Fenty Beauty in the shade 410. I take my beauty blender, do one pump of one and one pump of the other and apply. Yeah, Solange's complexion I thought was so beautiful in this look. She just looked very like sun-kissed, her skin was glowing, and I love mixing these two foundations together. It's like one of my staples. I feel like these two foundations work really well with each other. They give me a, like a smooth finish. Next I'm going to highlight. I'm using my NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer in the shade Walnut. Let's apply this under our eye. Kind of brighten it up because I look a little dead. While I let that sit, I'm going to go in with my contour using the Fenty Beauty Matchstick in Espresso. I'm really just carve out this face. All right, y'all, so this is the complexion so far. Looking pretty snatched. If I do say so myself. I'm gonna go ahead and bake. I'm going to use my Sasha Buttercup. You know, I always use this. This is my old faithful. One thing I like about Solange's makeup is that she's not overly like done up or beat. I feel like Solange has a very structured face, so that's why I'm carving out my jawline because my jawline's pretty flat. So I'm trying to get that cut. You see what I'm saying? So now I'm just going to wipe this powder off of my face. Next I'm going to go into my Shea Moisture Powder and further set my under eye area and all the highlighted areas. I'm going to contour with my Black Radiance Contour Palette. Just add some warmth to my skin. And then I'm just going to buff everything in together so there's no harsh lines. Yes, skin, look at that. The complexion is looking amazing. I'm gonna set everything with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder. And really, I like to go out into the perimeters with this and lightly go over the highlighted areas. All right, so we're gonna move on to blush. Now, Solange's skin looked very sun-kissed. Literally, her blush was warm. Kind of looked like it was an orange blush. So I'm going to go in with this one. This is Burnt Orange. I believe the name is Burnt Orange. Yes, it is, by Sasha. And I think this might pull off the same effect. So I'm gonna go in with Becca's Blush Copper. This used to be my ride or die. I haven't used this in so long, so let's pull her out today. And just kind of gently go over it. Yeah, that's what I needed, that glow. So I'm gonna highlight. I don't think she had like a really like strong highlight, but she did have a glow to her skin. So I'm gonna go in with Max Extra Dimension um, this highlighter what is the shade name this one is glow with it and I think this will be really pretty I'm not gonna go in heavy with this but just a little like right here and 
and then just bring it up and out. I'm gonna do a little on my Cupid's bow. Yeah. I'm trying to go as subtle as possible, but y'all know I love to glow, so <laughs> that's kind of hard for me. And then I just like to go in with my beauty blender just to like get everything melted into my skin. I don't like that powdery look. Okay, so we're gonna apply mascara to our eyes. I'm gonna start off with my L'Oreal Lash Primer. I'm not gonna add falsies for this look, only because um, I don't see Solange wearing, she probably does have falsies on, but they look so natural that I'm just gonna keep my natural lashes and just kinda amp them up a bit so they look a little bit more dramatic. You guys can click that eye card if you wanna see my mascara routine. It'll show you how I get voluminous long lashes without falsies. Next, I'm going to go into my Big Shot Mascara by Maybelline. Okay, so now I'm applying my Better Than Sex Mascara. So for her lash line, she had a bit of drama. It kind of looked like she had false, exaggerated lashes applied to her lash line, but I don't have any bottom lashes. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use a eyeliner and just draw some lashes. It kind of reminds me of Twiggy, that look. So let's hope this turns out right, you guys. I don't know, I might have to do this part off camera because I don't see myself doing this right on camera. Ugh. So hard. Okay, so it's looking a little crazy. I wasn't going to apply mascara, but I'm gonna apply mascara just to kind of blend that out. It doesn't look like she has an inner corner highlight, but I'm just gonna add a little bit, just a very tiny amount. I'm gonna set my makeup look with this uh, highlighting finishing spray. This is by OM Glow, and I'm gonna shake it up. And the color I have this in is coffee. And just for a little bit more glow, I'm gonna go in with 50's Body Lava in Brown Sugar, cause it looks like Solange's skin was glowing. So you know, why not? And we're just going to glow the skin up. Yes, that's what it was missing. See what this does? Like literally, I cannot get enough of the Fenty Body Lava. It, just makes your skin look so bomb. Okay, and lastly, our lips. Her lips were very natural. It really doesn't look like she had any lipstick on, just gloss, but I'm going to add a little bit of color to mine. I'm gonna outline them or line them with ColourPop's, what pencil is this? BFF3. And for lipstick, I'm going to use AJ Crimson's No Shade, which is a gorgeous nude for deeper skin tones. So it still gives you that natural lip color. And I'm gonna add a bit of gloss on top, just this clear gloss that I have. All right, you guys, this is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am feeling this glow, the makeup look. Everything about this is like simplistically sexy, which I am here for. I really have fun filming this video and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know down below how you're digging this whole look. And also, what other celebs should I recreate next? Like, who do you have in mind that you would like me to, you know? slay if you enjoyed this video and you are not subscribed go ahead and hit that red button down below right over there you see that red button hit that subscribe to my channel and also turn on your post notifications so that every time i upload you get notified and you don't miss anything okay because you don't want to miss out share this video with a friend don't forget to give it a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye